All right, folks. So we did the GeForce RTX 3070. All right, we did the hash rate. We took a look at it. Um, MSI. I always try to stick with MSI um, for mining. If you look at all the different brands, all right, MSI and Gigabyte are really the top two um, brands or companies that will give you the highest hash rate. If you look at the regular NVIDIA cards, the Asus, they're towards the bottom um, when it comes to hash rate. Now, it's only, you know, one mega hash, maybe 1.5 maybe 0 0.5 really depends on the card but anyway so this is the msi ventus 2x now i'm going to tell you straight up if you're using these cards for mining get the 3060 ti over the 3070 now i have no idea but from what i've been told and from what i've seen the 3060 ti will give you the same exact hash rate as the 3070. All right. Now this card was $429. All right. My 3070 was $549. All right. So uh, for a $120 difference, you're going to get the same exact performance. You're going to get better return on investment. All right. And you're going to use a little bit less power. All right. So without any ado. Now I did take the plastic off. And I did check her out real quick. But I didn't really look too good at it. At her. All right. Well, one hand. This is tough here. Okay, sorry about that, folks. All right. So let's take a look at the MSI Ventus 2X. All right, Micro Center. The only place to really get these cards by me. Okay. Not the easiest to do one hand. But we always get there, don't we? <laughs> we do, we do, we do. Okay. So again, you get that nice little envelope. Now there's some type of adapter that I heard you have to use with the 3060. Maybe it's untrue because I don't think there's an adapter in there. Uh, it might be inside here. I don't think so. No. All right. So, I don't know what that rumor was about. Okay. Let's crack her open. All right, so this is MSI's basic card, all right? Um, but it'll mine the same amount as really any other MSI card. Again, maybe one of their higher cards will get one mega hash more, maybe 1.5. But for double the price, you can tell that, that tell them to throw that card out the window. I'm going with the cheapest one. All right, so you got two fans uh pretty big all right if you remember the 3070 which is right there okay that has three fans all right this thing's been uh mining pretty good 61 mega hash okay so now it's time to see what the 3060 can do all right we got her plugged in here and we got action. All right, now it's probably not going to recognize it. I might have to download the new GeForce driver like I had to do with the 3070. 
but we'll see. All right, everything looks good here. But like I said, I doubt this is gonna show up here right away anyway. All right, that's, um, sparkling. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not reading it yet. Let's give it a couple seconds. If not, we got to download the driver. But a much smaller card. Well, obviously it has two fans instead of three. But really the same size as the 1660s. And you know, the 1660 Super, probably the most efficient mining card out there. Um, this might take its place now. Um, actually, it definitely will if it gets 60 um, Mega Hash. It'll probably be one of the most efficient cards out there, if not the most. But let's, let's see. All right, I downloaded the driver. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. It does take a bit to download the driver. You know, waiting and... Come on. I don't I have a bad feeling. Well, maybe not, because it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. She's in. She's in. Okay. There she is. 3060 Ti. All right. So, wow, it worked both times pretty easily. Now, I usually set the 3070 to around 11, 1170. All right. So, we're going to put her right at around 1070. 1077 is good. Fan speed, we'll keep it 60. Yeah, looking good. We got a couple old 1070s here. All right. And we got a 1070 Ti. That still works very good. The uh, 1070s dropped on um, Ethereum to around like 27 mega hash. You used to be able to get around 31 with it. But the 1070 Ti, you're still getting around 31, 32 on Ethereum. All right. What is that there? These cards get hot a little bit here. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm going to have to take off all that crappity crap. Don't look back. We got it working the first time. Now I got two 1070s sitting. Anybody want any 1070s? Let me know. All right. That looks good. Let's uh, get rid of some of this unnecessary stuff. Gr Grin Cuckoo. You got to be cuckoo to mine Grin Cuckoo. Or Kapow. Okay, no octopus for you. All right, that should be good. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we got. It might take a minute to benchmark those.
You can't kill these 1070s. I've been mining these cards for four years now. Still going. I, it's that NVIDIA one now, you see what you get. The Gigabyte gets 27. That's what I was talking about in the beginning, right? Oh, we got the Gigabyte here. That's getting 27. That's a 1070. And here's your NVIDIA 1070. That gets 25. All right, I got something going on here. I got internal. Whoa, it's getting 84. Me what? Oh, no, it was. Uh, it's only getting 51. It's burning up. All right, so that makes sense. Um, if it's 50 mega hash, I was told sometimes this might have kicked off. Let's see. Yeah, that's why. And that's why I'm burning them up. Let's do that. And these other. Alright, we should be good. Alright, so it might be, yeah. I apologize. See, you can't always go by what you hear. And I didn't see anybody do. Oh, now it's getting 56. Okay. See, only 139. The 3070 does around 158 at 70. So 56 versus 60. Now, oh, now I'm at 60. It does do 60. Oh, oh, bingo, baby. Bingo, baby. Home run. Wow. So it does exactly what the 3070 does, guys. And it's $130 cheaper. And around 20 to 25 less watts. All right. And the efficiency is 432.5 compared to the 3070, which I believe was, I think it's around 375. Okay. So definitely a more um, energy saving card, a more profitable card um a more efficient card is the 3060 ti for mining now for video gaming from what i have read and i am a little bit of a geek even though i haven't played a video game in 30 years the 3060 ti in some games will outperform a 3070 all right it's around 50 50 depending on the game, okay? So 50% of, they must have had around 30 games listed. Half favored the 3060 Ti, and half favored the 3070. This is just like the 260, um, actually this is just like the 660, excuse me, 1660 Ti, or 1660 Super, versus the 2060. The 2060 made absolutely no sense. Um, it was marginally better than the 1660 Ti. It was another 100 to $150 more. Um, Mining-wise, you know, I think it was actually worse. Um, again, the 1660 Super will mine a little bit better than the 1660 Ti, which is a little crazy. That's what makes the mining game... It's crazy how some cards, though, for gaming and, you know, the more expensive the card is, you think it's going to do better mining, and it, it doesn't. But what you're looking at mostly, guys, is the efficiency. 
And that's what makes, you know, when you're paying 10 cents a kilowatt hour. All right. Um, but as you know, right now, very profitable to be mining. I'm doing around $20 a day, probably for the last month now. So, you know, that's 600 bucks. That pretty much paid for this card. All right. And... 150 left over for the 3070. I'm probably going to sell my 3070 now. So um, I'm definitely going to sell that 3070. I still want a 3080, but I'm going to sell the 3070. It makes no sense to keep that. All right, so that's it, guys. The 3060 Ti will do 60 mega hash on Ethereum. The same as the 3070. So if you're mining, don't waste the money on a 3070. Peace. Free girl.